International Criminal Court, ICC, issued an arrest warrant against uh, Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, for crimes uh, they say committed uh, by um, taking like a uh, few kids from Ukraine, I mean, from Ukraine to Russia and some other crimes they said he committed. But uh, Putin defying them, um, he went, uh, he made a surprising visit to Mariupol in Ukraine. So uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to watch this video and then we're going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do some reaction on it. I'm going to talk. I'm going to give you guys my opinion, what I think about this arrest issued by the ICC, you know, which is International Criminal Court. Let's watch this video of Putin uh, visiting the Mariupol. Значит, также составили план развития набережных парк. То, что я вам докладывал, сделали хороший дизайн проект, разделили на переводчик. И помните, я также говорил, что все-таки основные культовые сооружения тоже помогают. Значит, работают уже несколько храмов. Значит, одну мечеть закачать. Сегодня я был и на храме, и на мечети. Службы идут, уже все нормально. И вот там, где у нас находится парк, вот прямо около, прямо перед морем в парке находится тут и храм, и мечеть. Значит, и вот там же приняли решение делать благоустройство и спуск на He used some very strong language about uh, we will allow the ICC to die. Uh, to all intents and purposes, it's uh, it's dead already. Uh, I think that will be news to uh, Fatih Ben Souda, the uh, ICC prosecutor, and to, to many others who uh, are involved in the court's work. Um, before I was uh, in Washington, I was the uh, the Africa correspondent of the Guardian and. Uh, I interviewed uh, the prosecutor and uh, followed many of these cases in uh, Congo, Uganda, Central African Republic, Ivory Coast and, and, and other countries. Uh, there certainly were uh, very uh, animated debates about the utility of the ICC. Um, certainly uh, some critics claim that it was biased uh, against Africa. Uh, the ICC's uh, defense was that, uh, don't forget, uh, many of the victims of those crimes were themselves uh, African. And uh, ironically, it's perhaps um, the ICC's attempt to expand its, its mandate and move to, to other countries, uh, most notably uh, these potential U.S. prosecutions that has really landed it in trouble now. And it, that, that may have been tough with any U.S. administration, but especially with uh, the Trump administration, uh, it's really seen as, as crossing a line. Uh, but I, I think saying it's, it's dying would be uh, an exaggeration, but clearly with uh, China and Russia also not signed up, um, it, uh, it, it has a, a battle on its hands. Imminent jurists, professional legal organizations, and human rights monitors in this country and around the world have declared that President George W. Bush may be prosecuted as a war criminal, right? 
for his overt and systematic violation of uh, such international laws. And um, as the Geneva and the Hague Convention and such U.S. law as the War Crimes Act, the Anti-Torture Act, and federal assault laws, George W. Bush war criminal identifies and documents 269 specific war crimes under U.S. and international law for which President Bush, senior official, staff in his administration, and the military officers under his command are liable to be prosecuted. Has divides this 269 war crime of the Bush administration into four classes. Six war crimes committed uh, to launching a war of aggression. 36 war crimes committed in the conduct of the war. 175 war crimes committed in the treatment of prisoners. And 52 war crimes committed in post-war occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. For which of the 269 war crimes of the Bush administration, Professor Haas gave chapter and verse in precise but non-technical language, including the specific act deemed to be war crimes, the name of the official deemed to be war criminals, and the exact language of the international or domestic law violated by the, those officials. The author proceeds to consider the various U.S. international and foreign tribunals in which uh, the war crimes of Bush administration defendants uh, may be tried under applicable body of laws. Um, he evaluates uh, the real world practicability of bringing cases against Bush and Bush official in each, uh, in each of the possible venues. Finally, he weights the legal, political, and humanitarian pros and cons of actually bringing Bush and the Bush official to trial for war crimes. But until today, the U.S. is threatening the ICC of indicting any American citizen for war crimes and international criminal court judges got scared. And they kept, uh, they kept it quiet. They refused to prosecute President Bush and the American officials that have committed war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is called BS, okay? If the ICC is willing to condemn Putin and issue an arrest uh, order against him, then they should do the same with all Americans responsible for committing crimes in Iraq and Af Afghanistan, especially George Bush. And um, we have crimes committed by the, also by the Queen Elizabeth of the UK, which were never prosecuted until she got away with it. She died. But just in this world, she only got away with it. She will meet the creator and there she, she will understand what time it is. Come on, ICC. You have no morals to prosecute anyone if you are not prosecuting Westerners. This is why you just lost your credibility and respect across this planet. This is why we will have, uh, we will never have total peace in this world. If we keep thinking that, the, that some of uh, us humans can do whatever we want and get away with it, and others should, uh, should be punished for the same crimes, that's all is going to create hate and war. This world sucks, and we will never have peace in this world. Only the creators can give us peace. Alhamdulillah. This is Bob Sankarian. Do not forget to subscribe and click like if you like my show because that uh, that will help this channel grow whenever you like the show. All right? Thank you. Enjoy your day.